This weekend, Alec Baldwin breaking his silence. What do you want to know? Speaking to media for the first time since he fired a deadly shot on set of the independent film, Rust. I've been ordered by the sheriff's department in Santa Fe. I can't answer any questions about the investigation. I can't. Baldwin routinely talking with investigators. I talk to the cops every day. Along with the husband of the late cinematographer, Helena Hutchins. He is in shock. He has a nine-year-old son. You know, we are... You know, in constant contact with him. The encounter at times emotionally and, charged. And, and you guys, you guys, you know what? No I mean, details. Do, do me a favor. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer the question. The famed 30 Rock actor and his wife Hilaria aggravated when photographers struggled to remember Hutchins' name. Helena, yes, her name is Helena. Helena. If you're spending this much time waiting for us, you should you know, know her, her name. name. Her name is Helena. She was my friend. She was my friend. Earlier this month, authorities say Baldwin mistakenly fired live ammo on set, striking Hutchins in the chest. Moments earlier, the assistant director had yelled, cold gun, meaning the weapon was safe to use. Still, Baldwin defending the production. We were a very, very, you know, well-oiled crew shooting a film together, and then this horrible event happened. Some crew members on the ground say otherwise, walking off set shortly before the shooting over safety concerns, according to a source familiar with the matter. But Russ Movies Productions writing, we were not made aware of any official complaints. The 63-year-old now turning his attention to what this tragedy means for the industry. So what has to happen now is we have to realize that when it does go wrong, and it's this horrible catastrophic thing, some new measures have to take place. And as you heard, Baldwin called Helena Hutchins his friend, saying he took her out to dinner his first day on set. The 42-year-old mother will be laid to rest today in a private funeral. Willie? Just so sad. Emily Aketa in Los Angeles for us. Emily, thank you very much.